Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing it. We're gonna start working on my pantry and my basement freezer. We're gonna organize all of it. So if you're new to my channel, then you may not know, but if you guys watch my videos and you guys know already that we have a refrigerator and we have a pantry over here in the kitchen, but we also have a pantry and a freezer down in the basement. So we've got like a little prepper pantry situation. We're gonna start tackling it all today and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. It is a hot mess. So the first thing that I wanna do is I just wanna show you what I'm working with and then I'm gonna take you guys down to the basement so you guys can see the disaster that's down there. So I already showed you guys in a recent video how I organized my refrigerator, but this is the pantry that's here in my kitchen and this is what it looks like you guys okay so i have a bunch of stuff here that is just thrown in there and i've got stuff here on the bottom we've got bags thrown in there just a bunch of things that i need to take out like all of this is going to come out and i'm going to organize this so that it's actually functional you guys are going to see now when i take you to the basement but we have like extra food that we keep down there and we've just been building up like a little storage stash down there but the problem that i have is that when I go grocery shopping, when I order groceries, normally I'll put the new stuff like right in here. And then a lot of the stuff that's down in the pantry downstairs is stuff that's like nearing expiration. So I don't have a very good system. That's not how you want to have like a little prepper pantry. You want to make sure that the oldest stuff is the stuff that you're constantly reaching for. So that's why I wanted to organize and finally get this in working order because half the time I don't even know what I have up here, what I have down there. I'm buying stuff that I don't need. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix that. All right, so let's do it. Let's get down here. And that way I can show you guys all the stuff that we have to work with. I told you guys the other day that I believe that there is some kind of like a rodent or there's some kind of critter down here in the basement. So if at some point the rodent decides to say hello and you see me freak out, that is what is happening. I'm hoping that, I don't know, I'm hoping that we don't see anything. I'm gonna flip the camera around in a few seconds. You guys are gonna see my freezer. You guys are gonna see the extra refrigerator we have and also our little pantry. If you follow my vlogs, then you already know why we have all this stuff down here. But if you are new, I do wanna just preface this by saying that my husband and I, we get our meat from like a local farming thing. We have like a meat delivery subscription. So what we do is every six months, there's a company that comes and fills this freezer with meat. So I just want to let you know that that is why it's like that. So it is a lot of food. I am eternally grateful that we're in a position where we can have this much food here stocked for our family. It's just a nice peace of mind knowing that we have food and also like it just alleviates the having to freak out about going to the grocery store or you know not being able to get groceries for whatever reason. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old so this system and having stuff here and kind of shopping from this extra pantry has worked out really great because sometimes i'll run out of something and i'll be like oh wait i have that downstairs so instead of having to run out to the store we have that so that's just like some insight on why we do what we do okay so here is what we're working with i need to go back there and turn on the light but this is our meat freezer and then we have this extra refrigerator that i don't know how much we're gonna do with this refrigerator i have just like some extra things that we keep in there but this right here this is what we're gonna be tackling as you can see we have all of this food that is a jumbled mess and i really have no idea what we have so let me get back there and turn on the light and hope that nothing jumps out at me i was down here earlier today kind of like kicking boxes <laughs> trying to make sure that there wasn't anything but I don't know, you guys. I'm slightly terrified. So here you can probably get a better view. You know, we've been trying to stock up on canned foods, a lot of shelf-stable foods that, you know, will get us through if we were locked in here because of a blizzard or if, you know, God forbid, the world got crazy. Like, we have food for those things. So what I've been doing is, like, every grocery trip, I've been buying just, like, some canned food, some peanut butter, like, getting a little bit of extra stuff. But this is insanity, I'm well aware, and... I, I can't even see what I have. So that's what this pantry food looks like. And I'm really hoping that by the time this video is over that things will be much more organized. I am well aware that it's also going to take me quite some time to do this. I don't anticipate getting it all done today. But this is the first time that we've even had the space to do like an extra pantry or, you know, to have this much food in our house. Before when we were living in Miami, we didn't have a basement. So there was nowhere to store this. So now that we're in Virginia and we are lucky enough that we have a basement, we decided that one of the things we wanted to do is to have like a little food storage system here but given that it's new to us and we've never done it before you know we've had to work out some of these little kinks and like realize that we have to be rotating through things and putting the stuff with the expiration dates that are closer upstairs so you know it's a work in progress here but like i said i don't even know that i'm gonna do much here to this refrigerator but i do have this extra refrigerator and we keep just for the most part um you know like beer in here we keep an extra gallon of milk 
for each of the kids so that we have like a backup milk and we have like an extra deli meat. What's down here? These are white cloths. So this is more of like our drinks refrigerator. And then this light doesn't even work, but we have in here like, I don't know, breads, waffles, frozen veggies, just a bunch of stuff that we can reach for. A lot of frozen breads we keep here. So that is what that is. And then this is the big freezer, you guys. And again, some of you guys have already seen this before, um, but it was stocked up a second time so in the time that we've been living here this has now been stocked up twice so all of this is crazy again just don't don't come for me okay but this is what our freezer looks like okay so we've got a bunch of meat but of course the problem is i don't even know what the heck i have so we have bacon over here we've got some more frozen veggies these are all from like the local farmers and the service that we use there are some things in here that we've just gone to the grocery store and bought for ourselves like frozen things like this that we just keep here in the freezer because we have space here but obviously i need to do some major work in here because yes i love that we have all of this food i love that i have the space to throw things like a frozen gallon of milk and dinner rolls and all of these things but half the time when i'm trying to cook and trying to decide what i want to make for dinner i don't even know what this stuff is we've got a bunch of different cuts of steaks and meats and all of that so i want to better organize it so that I know what it is that I'm trying to pull from. Down here I have just more things. These are like breakfast sandwiches. But a lot of it is stuff that like I bought and we stored and we haven't eaten. And I'm sure that a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's not organized and it's not functional. So I'm sharing all of this with you guys because we are friends. Again, I know that there's a lot of judgment that can be made from all of this okay i've been putting this off for such a long time and it's one of those things that i just haven't wanted to tackle because it's a very very big project but i have shared with you guys that one of my goals for this year is to cook more to be more in the kitchen to experiment with new recipes and stuff so i know that i have a lot of the meat to do it but it's going to be a lot easier to do that and to share recipes with you guys and to do some more meal planning and all of that if i actually know what i have in here so that is what this video is going to be this video is going to be me organizing each of these spaces and just getting my life in order here so i hope you guys are excited once we're done at the very end i will share like exactly what's in here and hopefully that'll give you some ideas for things that you can freeze and store same thing with the pantry i'll show you guys what kinds of canned items we buy and things that we have on hand here in case of emergencies you never know you never know what's gonna happen in this world so i think that the first thing that i'm gonna do something that's pretty simple that i can knock out today while the kids are napping is i have all these things that are like in bags and like look these are jackson teething wafers that I buy in bulk from Amazon so I have all these things that I'm just gonna take out of the bags and I'm gonna start if I have space here somehow start separating things like all of the peanut butters that I have putting them together because once I know what I have the next step is gonna be looking at expiration dates and then making sure that I'm taking some stuff upstairs to that functional pantry the stuff that I'm reaching for on a daily basis I've got to make sure that that's the stuff that's gonna expire the fastest so that none of this food goes to waste so I hope that you guys are excited if this doesn't give you motivation I really don't know what else will because this is quite quite a big project so let's get to it i'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and i'm gonna start just taking some of these things out and sorting it out and dear lord this is gonna make me hungry because i'm already looking at like a bunch of like the snacks and stuff that i have here from aldi so i'm gonna try to get through it without like grabbing all the things that i want to eat Okay, so I don't know how to say this, but um, I'm pretty sure that there are mice that have been down here. I have never seen mouse droppings before. I am not a mouse expert, but when we moved into this house, we had an issue with mice in the attic and we had to pay a crap ton of money to get our whole attic refinished and fixed up, get rid of all the mice. But I'm seeing that there's some places where I think it's the insulation that's like on the floor and I'm seeing what I think our mouse droppings obviously i don't want mice and obviously i don't want mice near my food and i obviously don't want them eating my food so i'm gonna have to tell joe and get working back out here to see what they can do or to see if maybe there's just maybe this isn't the place where we should be keeping some of this stuff um but yeah i'm like looking around and 
that is not a good time but i'm still going to continue doing what i'm doing because it still has to get done i need to know what i have down here and i need to know what i need to bring up and that way i'm not continuing to buy stuff that i don't need that i already have and get that kind of system here in order guys it is a freaking mouse do you guys want to see how he's coming in i don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see but back there see that that's where the freaking mouse or multiple mice like um the mouse and all his friends that's where they're coming in by so we called orc in and they're gonna come and hopefully clear that up because i don't need them getting into all my food all right so joe is here and i had bought another one of these um whatever this shelf thing is i had bought another one so that's what he's putting together there because my idea was to put it next to the pantry that we have already there so that way we can store more stuff like not on the floor so he's gonna put that together for me real quick that way we can get some of the food off the floor so that way if the mouse comes back at least it's on the floor so what i've been doing now is just like separating the foods like i told you guys not quite done but at least now i have a better idea of what i'm working with So this is great because now I have extra shelving here so I can take some of the foods that are all over here put them over here and kind of redistribute the stuff that's in that bookshelf so this is great and this I got off of Amazon it wasn't very expensive but like Joe has said that he wants to do some kind of shelving system in here right but if you don't have that at the moment this is something that should work to help you to have some more storage all right so what i'm gonna do now is just try to get some of the food that's on the floor on these shelves like i said and then later tonight once the kids are asleep maybe then i can kind of start going through some of the expiration dates and you know trying to get a hold of like what needs to go upstairs versus what's going to stay here but clearly i have a lot of stuff already here that we can eat from for like the next month or two so my plan as of right now is like I really don't need to do a lot of pantry groceries um, for like a little while. If I do buy anything though, like if I decide, you know what, part of my monthly grocery bill I still want to use and I want to buy some more things, what I can do is have that stuff be stuff that comes down here as part of like our surplus pantries. But luckily, just like skimming through some of the stuff that I've seen, there's not a lot of stuff that's gone bad, like just a couple like little snacks and stuff for the kids. But this is making me really happy just being able to know what it is that we have. So let's get to it. I've got a little work to do and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm all done. Okay, so this is where we are at. I'm very pleased with the progress that I was able to make right now. I don't want to go too much in detail like about what exactly is here because I still have to come back, look at the expirations, make sure that there's nothing that has expired. But at the very least, like all the stuff that was just in boxes and in packaging on the floor is gone. And yes, like I left that there because when Orkin comes, I want them to be able to see how the freaking mouse was getting in. But I did make it a point to like anything that is like rice or anything that was in packaging that i thought that they would want to get into i elevated it so the stuff that's all the way at the bottom is just like cans and stuff that's in you know packaging that they can't eat away at so yes that's where we're at right now i could if i wanted to buy another one of these little um storage shelves because i think i have enough um room there if i wanted to just get another one and just make this whole wall here of like the food situation you know i'm not here to debate with anybody about whether or not this is necessary whether or not you should be doing this or not doing this this is just what i like to do this is what works for our family it is one of our priorities to stock our you know basement with some food just in case and like you can see it's kind of nice because we have like a little grocery store here and so like i said there's going to be a lot of stuff that i'm going to be taking up to our pantry upstairs and a lot of this food we will be eating through in the next 
couple months so that way it doesn't go bad i really do hope that i never find myself in a situation where i'm like oh crap like we can't go to the store we can't get food so you know we need to go look at what's in the basement like i hope that i never have to do that and i hope that this is just a bunch of wasted effort but should we ever you know like i said be in a blizzard or you know for whatever reason can't get to the grocery store i feel like i have a lot of peace of mind knowing that i've got like the essentials that we would need where we could you know survive for a little bit so i'll continue this in a little while and see if maybe there's some stuff that i need to move around or whatnot and then what i'll probably do is like kind of look at the pantry upstairs and see if there's stuff that needs to be moved around and then the last step will be to tackle the freezer so i hope you guys are still with me i hope that you know this hasn't been forever long but there's a reason why this was like at the top of my to-do list for 2021 because i felt like if i could tackle this then it would make my life so much easier for the rest of the year so feeling good so far all right you guys so it's a little later the kids are asleep so i don't really want to do this right now it's like 8 30 at night and i'm tired but i'm just gonna get it over with i'm gonna see if i can tackle the pantry here in the kitchen i showed you guys the disaster already earlier um but i need to sort through things get rid of a bunch of the bags and stuff that are down there and get it so that at the very least i know what is in here so that way now that i know what's downstairs in that pantry i can figure out like what i want to have here and what i need to replace with what's down there so i'm just going to set you down so you can see me in action doing this but it's really just going to be me taking everything out and getting rid of stuff that is garbage or getting rid of stuff that's expired stuff that we're not going to eat and we'll just go from there and see what happens. All right, so a little over an hour later, I am done at least here. So I think that the pantry is looking a lot better. I took out a whole bunch of stuff, put stuff back in, rearranged like the flow of the pantry. And now I feel like it makes sense. And it's the best use of the space as it is. Like I don't have a bunch of fancy containers yet. I would like to get some in the future. Like I told you guys when I did my refrigerator. For now, this is a million times better than it was before. So I do still have a few things out on the counter that I'm going to take. Like and this stuff too. I'm going to take that down to the basement. But this is what our pantry looks like right now. And I think like I said, it's a much better use of the space. I actually know what I have now. So let me just walk you through it real quick. So I kept like the stuff that's here on the sides pretty much the same i made riley's little easy to grab snacks down here so that she can come and grab a snack when she's hungry some of the peanut butter some of my bars and stuff like that i threw like all of our chips and snacky foods like up here popcorn peanuts things like that i've got rice and all of the crackers are with all of the crackers these are like things that i can bake so i've got like pancake mix back there a bunch of muffin mixes banana bread all of that so more breakfast kind of stuff here like my pop tarts that i like this is granola I wish that I had containers to put the granola, but for now, they're just going to be like that. And then I've got some of the canned foods here. The canned chicken, canned tuna. We go through these cans a ton because the kids eat sweet peas like every single day. So we go through a lot of these. And I'm working to give Jackson like a lot of black beans and, you know, trying out some different veggies with him so i'm gonna keep those there these are our pastas so i've got one pack of angel hair here but i know that in the basement i've got a ton of spaghetti so i can bring some of that spaghetti up here once i'm done with that one one of the most helpful things that i did honestly was this shelf here making this all of the, the kids food like the baby foods most of it like jackson's foods but i do still occasionally give him puree and i really couldn't even see like what kinds of baby food i had and i know that i have some downstairs in the basement so i can be kind of you know bringing some up as we go you know getting rid of some of this his pouches his puffs like the stuff that i give him all the time and then i did find these two containers these two little things that i had gotten a million years ago at the dollar tree so these are super cheap little containers but i put all of jackson's teething wafers here because i do give him these quite a lot i'll put peanut butter on them i'll put avocado so we use these a lot but i think that they just look a lot nicer like that and then i've got a lot of the granola bars that i give riley 
Z for Z bars. These I got for Jackson, the Plum Mighty snack bars, some of the other granola bars. So now at a glance, like I always know like that's the kids shelf. And then I have down here just like some cereal and then like the sweet stuff, like the cookies for me and like other little like snacks. And then down here, now you can actually see what is there. I'm trying to get rid of those Christmas plates and just a couple things that we normally reach for that before, you know, like this entire space was, you couldn't even use it. So that was a major, major improvement right there. So the rest of what's left here, like I said, I'm gonna take it down to the basement because it doesn't need to be in our pantry. Like this, for example, I had a bunch of granola bars, but I don't need to have that many here in this pantry. So these will stay in the stockpile downstairs. Same thing with this corn muffin mix. I already have one in the pantry, so these can go down and I already have a bunch of jelly and maple syrup too. So this will be like the stuff that I keep downstairs and then when I run out up here, I can go down there and get some more. So I think I did a lot of stuff today um, I'm very impressed with where we got today tomorrow I'll continue working tomorrow I'll go down there look at the expiration dates again and see if I have to bring some stuff up and kind of switch out some things like I told you earlier and then the last thing that I need to still do is organize the freezer down there earlier today I kind of organized the freezer that I have here so just to give you an idea this obviously is a freezer that we use and we keep stuff here. So I have like all of our breads and I have tortillas and waffles. So all of the breads I have here and then this over here is like frozen fruit for smoothies. And I have some breakfast sandwiches. I have the um, Uncrustables for the kids. So that's what I keep here. And then on the bottom, I do have like veggies and sides and you know things like french fries and sweet potatoes cauliflower rice I keep in this section over here I have a little bit of meat you guys already saw my freezer downstairs that's where I keep the majority of my meat but every once in a while I like to have like you know just a couple pieces of fish or like a couple little chicken breasts up here so that I can just throw it in the oven real quick instead of having to go downstairs like for lunch especially like I can reach in here and like make something real quick and then of course I've got my ice cream over there so now that that's as organized as it's honestly gonna get what I'll do is tomorrow I'll work on the freezer and then we should be good to go so things are getting better I honestly didn't even think I was gonna get to that today so I will talk to you guys when I see you guys next. Hey guys, so it's a few days later now. I kind of finished the pantry upstairs. I think that's the last thing that I filmed. So today I'm gonna tackle the freezer. Um, Orkin did come in and they told us that yes, for sure those are mice. And they set up mouse traps and all of that. So fun times here in the basement. So this is where we left off, I think last time. What I did since then is I did go through some of the food that was here and there were a couple things that had expired. So I got rid of those things, brought a couple things upstairs, but the pantry for now is looking good. Now it's just the freezer that I wanna tackle. So we're gonna do the freezer and then once that's done, I'll kind of go through the pantry and just like shout out a couple things that I always like to have on hand. Things that I think are staples that make me feel better about my life knowing that I have them here in case of an emergency. So we'll do that at the very end. But here is what we're gonna work with today. So it's, it's pretty bad. And again, this is why I put off this stuff as long as I do because then to tackle it, it's a mission. So I'm gonna get the tripod in a second, put you guys in the tripod, I'm gonna start working. But I do have these bins that I had ordered from Amazon. So they're just like these white wire baskets and there's four of them. I can't take them apart with one hand, but I'm gonna use these to kind of separate different proteins out. So that way, I don't know, I have a better idea of what is in there. And then I've got like a whole bunch of like extra stuff, like this milk, I'm gonna separate, you know, with some of the other foods that we have in there. Like I really just wanna have a clear idea of what proteins we have and then kind of go from there. So wish me luck. I'm gonna try to accomplish as much as I can now while the kids are napping. And if I have to finish it later tonight, then I will. Let's, let's just see how this goes.
All right, so I am done now. I feel like that was such a worthwhile task. It didn't honestly take me as long as I thought it would. It's just one of those things that I had been procrastinating. So let's go ahead, let me show you what my freezer looks like now. So now this over here is what I'm working with. And now I feel like I know what is in here. I know what I'm gonna reach for. It's not a jumbled mess where I'm playing a guessing game of like how much of this do I have left or you know, what exactly is this? So what I did is up here, I put like some of like the more random things like the pizzas. I have like some stuff that I keep frozen. Like I always keep tortillas frozen. And then when I go to use them, I just put them straight in the microwave to heat them up and they defrost perfectly. But that way I don't like have these go bad. Same thing with like some of the breads. I have big giant wrapped tortillas back there. And then I have like some of these like lunch bowls. Like these I get from Aldi, the quinoa bowls that are super good. Like easy dinners that sometimes I'll just say, you know, Joseph, like, let's just have some chicken fried rice and we're good to go so i kept that there some of like the frozen chicken nuggets and frozen chicken tenders and stuff that we keep for all of us because like the kids will eat that too and then down here i did this like my pork and turkey area so i have a whole turkey that we were planning on cooking for christmas and it just never ended up happening but all of this back here this is ground turkey so really this is for when we do um tacos because when we do tacos we don't do ground beef we do ground turkey so when joe and i decide you know what hey we're gonna do tacos tonight i just come down here and i pull out one of these and then this is what i cook and then in this basket i have like the pork so we have like some pork chops like bone-in pork chops um pork chops with no bone and then like pork tenderloins we have some of those i don't know exactly what this is pork shoulder but over here i've got some tenderloins so anything that's pork is now in this basket and then down here this is all chicken except for the baby back ribs that joe has to cook some weekend and just we'll have like a ribs party but this down here is mostly what we use to cook with these are just like chicken cutlets so if there's like something that i'm making that calls for chicken usually this is what i'll grab put these chicken nugget packets on top too so these are like not the tenders these are like the legit like circle nuggets so we have some of that and then in this basket this is chicken that is not the chicken cutlets so i have a lot of chicken thighs here like in the back there's chicken thighs these are like chicken tenders i think is what they call them chicken tenders so just you know cut a little bit different and then i have like some shaved chicken too somewhere like fajita style chicken so anything that's not like the chicken cutlet that's what's in the basket and then on this shelf down here i have all of our fish so this is all fish mostly it's salmon and mahi mahi and tilapia that's really like the three fish that we eat so i have some fish i actually have a lot more fish than i thought i did so that's why again i'm glad that i did this because now i can actually cook with fish like i wasn't cooking with fish i was like oh we don't have that much fish left i don't want to waste it and then here it is all the fish and then this is the stuff that is more like special occasion so all of the steaks that are in this center component just kind of thrown in there this is my favorite cut of steak this is like um skirt steak so like kind of like true tasco so this is what I asked Joe to make for me the most often. So now I know how many of those I have left. And then in this basket, I put anything that's not skirt steak. So we have some ribeyes. We have some, I don't know, New York strip maybe. I don't know really anything about steak except that I like skirt steak. So a couple other cuts in there that we'll usually grill like on the weekend. And then in here, we just did like breakfast and kind of lunch stuff. So we have like a backup of waffles down here that we keep i'm pretty sure we have some waffles upstairs but like waffles and then i have like some of these like breakfast sandwiches that are always good you know just to have like they're handy and then i've got bacon so a couple packs of bacon here and then these are like breakfast sausage i'm sorry that that noise is going off it's telling me that the freezer door is open and then over here this is like uh sandwich meat i didn't know that you could freeze deli meat until very recently so this is some turkey breast and i think there's ham maybe but like if you go to the store and you get something like this you can just freeze it and then defrost it when you're ready to eat it so that is what's in the basket but you see like now it's gonna make my life so much easier when i go to cook i can come down here and kind of shop around and see like what i have and then get inspiration from like what i see that i might want to cook and then find a recipe or vice versa i can go on pinterest and find a recipe and then remember like oh wait i know that i have some of that meat in here i will not be going to the grocery store and buying meat anytime soon because we have plenty and that's like the thing with what we do like i'm very well aware that not every Everybody has the space or the desire to have like an extra freezer in their basement or in their house but for us it's nice because it's like I'm buying what I'm gonna use 
like up front for six months we kind of figure out how often i'm cooking and how often we're eating here at home and then we do like calculations like with the rep that you know we work with and then he'll tell us more or less you know how much of the meat we need and then they deliver it to us in bulk like this but then we have to pay it monthly we have a monthly payment for it so it's almost like putting a bunch of meat like on a credit card and then like going and paying it off we just kind of buy it up front versus doing it on a monthly basis at the grocery store if that makes any sense so enough talking about that if you guys have any questions about anything that you've seen this far in this video please feel free to ask i just you know this is just me sharing my life with you guys so let's go here and then we'll finish up this video so some of the things that we keep here handy in our food stash so i've kind of shared a little bit about the fact that joe and i are kind of you know like somewhat preppers you know like we're kind of you know preparing for god knows what could happen but at the very least like things like a blizzard or things that would cause us to need food kind of stockpiled here at home and i do want to say like whatever we have here in this house like whatever is here in this pantry we've been adding to this pantry since we moved here in this house about a year ago so this is not stuff that we went and we bought all at once this is stuff that we went little by little purchasing and now this is what we have to work with so if you're thinking about creating some kind of little pantry or prepper pantry or whatever it is you want to call it just remember that you don't have to like go all at once and do it you can go buying like a few cans of this a few cans of this when you go to the grocery store just pick up maybe whatever you see that's on sale like that's the other good thing about having space for a pantry like this is that you can take advantage of like when stuff is like buy one get one free you can say okay this is great i can get it on sale i'm saving some money that way and then you actually have like the space to put it somewhere instead of it taking up all the space in your regular pantry but that being said you know we like to have stuff that's shelf stable things that aren't going to go bad i like to ask myself like what would i want here in my house for myself and for the kids if for some reason and we were locked here in the house for two weeks like that's a question that i ask myself great now the ac is blasting so it's gonna be really loud so i apologize so i'm gonna start off here on this shelf and then we'll move over there so stuff that's very basic is like pasta right pasta isn't really gonna go bad for a long time it's easy to whip together you need some boiling water and that's about it so i've got some spaghetti i have these like ready pastas which i'll eat every once in a while like as a quick dinner because you can just put them in the microwave for 60 seconds so I've got some of that and these I think I even bought on Amazon like I bought them in bulk on Amazon and then stuff like mac and cheese we love the Annie's mac and cheese so we've got all kinds of that I know like these big packages um, back here that have like the assortment you can get at Costco or you can get at one of those bulk stores but pasta we like to have a lot of because at least i don't know two or three times a week we're eating pasta so that is stuff that i definitely go through and every time i go to the grocery store i always buy like two or three boxes of mac and cheese then for the kids i always have um these little pouches because these aren't going to go bad for a while again and if there was no power if i couldn't get fresh veggies like if i couldn't go to the store and i couldn't get fresh veggies i could always give them some of this stuff and they're getting their veggies that way i always keep some puffs because god knows like if i'm in this house and the kids are having a meltdown and there's no puffs that's gonna be a bad day this i forgot to mention that's up here it's so random you guys are gonna think i'm insane like all of this i'm sure you think i'm insane but that's fine so this is an egg replacer okay and i have a couple boxes of it i have like different brands and stuff so i've got this vegan easy egg the egg replacer i think the one that i'll be more likely to use is this one but that is great to bake with in the event that you find yourself unable to get eggs because i've told you guys the story that when covid hit like i'm sure all of you guys know when covid hit to get eggs was like to get gold like it was so scarce you couldn't find eggs i would go to the store no eggs we would do the instacart no eggs so eggs were a hot commodity and for good reason like we love eggs but also like people were baking and stuff so that egg replacer it's something that you can use in place of eggs if you're baking like you're not going to eat that like a scrambled egg but you can put it in your recipe recipes and bake with it if for some reason you can't find eggs so i don't know like the paranoid person in me always likes to have some of that because that way at least you can make your banana bread your corn muffin mix or whatever else the heck you're baking and whatever that's just what i like to have in case i can't find eggs but moving on i've got these um mashed potatoes it's like powder mashed potatoes i think all you need to do is add water to it so this is a great like prepper pantry kind of thing as long as they don't expire i don't know exactly how long they last on the shelf 
So this one I still have till August and I bought this a long time ago. So these last for a long time. I think it's great. Again, you just need boiling water and you have mashed potatoes. And Joe and I used to eat this like every single Friday. Like when I'd go to his house and we were dating, he would make me like a little $5 steak. It was like $5 for like three steaks. Like probably like the worst quality steak you could find. And these mashed potatoes. So these are near and dear to my heart. And then like, you know, fun things too. Because if I'm locked in my house for like two weeks, I want to make sure that I have something fun to boost my morale. So we have like M&M's and candy over here i have some sour patch some m&ms so that's you know good times i have some more baby food for the kids that again they're good to have in case of an emergency but i will reach for these a lot because till this day like jackson is still sometimes eating purees and you know this is just good to give him i need to find someone in my community that needs a thing of formula because i have this formula it's still good and jackson no longer drinks formula but this was something that i kept on hand when he was drinking formula i always made sure to have a couple extra cans of this because you know if god forbid you can't leave your house and you're stuck in your house um and your kids drink formula that's something that's very important and i have some cereals you know those last a pretty long time the cereal and then over here i have things like canned tuna because i love tuna and then i have canned chicken breast that's just good basic like kind of survival food all you need is a can opener you open that up and you have some protein so that's um in my opinion good to have and then down here i have a ton of sweet peas because that's the one veggie that both of my kids will eat like non-stop like every day almost riley has sweet peas so i have a lot of cans of those because that would be something good that regardless of if there's an emergency or not like she will eat these those will not go to waste and then i have some marinara sauce for the pasta and a lot of like tomato sauce tomato paste or whatever i think these are from i don't know if these are from walmart or from aldi just cheap stuff like that that you can throw over pasta and then i have cornstarch i'm not sure exactly why i have cornstarch i think it's that like i forgot that i had some and then i bought more like this was not intentional to have this much cornstarch but whatever now i have it and then i also have i think like three cans of this the like, the pam spray because if you're going to be cooking you kind of need that same thing over here like i have a lot of of, um olive oil because if you're going to be cooking from home something that you kind of forget that you need is olive oil to cook with like i know that when i cook at least and i'm sauteing chicken breast or whatever like i need olive oil so we have some of that and then this is like salt and pepper that i need to find a better place for but salt and pepper you know to spice up your food so it doesn't taste disgusting down here i have just some chicken soup i think yeah chicken noodle soup and i think this one might be tomato soup so just a couple things of soup like joe and i don't drink a lot of soup that's more of like emergency food but we have that in case something were to happen and then i have a lot of peanut butter because the kids go through peanut butter like crazy that lasts forever too i have some almond butter back there too jelly so then we have black beans i buy a lot of black beans i make sure to have that on hand because it's a great source of protein jackson likes black beans so if for any reason he can't have like a you know fresh chicken breast or something at least he can have protein through um the beans and then i have a little bit of canned fruit but not too much that would be like something that i can buy a little bit more of like canned fruit just in case and then these are just like snacky kind of foods like i have a lot of crackers because the kids go through crackers a lot we eat a lot of crackers um riley's um snack mix that she loves and now jackson likes this too so i keep some of that here we've got some cookies and what else do we have just like welch's fruit snacks and Chex mix and popcorn and then i have like granola bars the kids love granola bars we eat a ton of granola bars these are riley's favorite ones the z bars we always make sure to have some of that a lot of rice rice is one of those like survival kind of food so we make sure to have a lot of that and then i have jackson's oatmeal cereal because he'll still eat that so and i buy that in bulk like from amazon so it always comes with like i think like five packages so now i have two left and then raisins this is just like stuff that we like that we will go through and that we will eat but it's also shelf stable and lasts a while so if we have the space we can keep extra of it so my pop tarts that i really like and then a bunch of chips and snacks and things up here that we've gotten from aldi a lot of it a lot of it i've gotten just like when it was on sale at walmart these i always make sure to keep a lot of because jackson goes through these like water almost now the teether so those also come from amazon and it brings like five 
in a package so I always keep the rest of them here and then oats because oats we use a lot for like the muffins that I make the kids and stuff so if we were locked inside here for a while for whatever reason we could do a lot of baking and then in this little corner we do make sure to have like a backup of coffee because that's important like I'm gonna lose my mind if we can't have coffee and then I have some of my proteins and stuff that I didn't have space for upstairs but this down here is really important. I keep this shelf stable whole milk for the kids because if for whatever reason we couldn't go to the grocery store and get fresh milk for them, this doesn't have to be refrigerated and it lasts for a while. So once I see that these start to expire, then I won't buy fresh milk for a while. I'll just put these in the fridge and then give that to the kids and then go rotating it out. See these expire March 31st. So I wanna make sure that I'm keeping an eye on those expiration dates so that when it gets closer to there, I can start giving that to the kids. And then lastly, this is true prepper fashion, okay? This is the Ready Wise food. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of that before. I don't wanna go like too over there because that's like where the mouse came in from. But this is emergency food supply. This is stuff that we bought when COVID first hit that we didn't know what the heck was gonna happen. But that food that's in there, it's like probably tastes like absolute garbage, but it lasts for 25 years. So now you know that we are absolutely crazy prepper people, but that was something that we bought for our peace of mind. I forgot how much we paid for it, but I think it was like a 30 day supply of food for like one person or maybe like 60 day supply of food for one person. So not enough for all of us to survive for that long, but it was like the peace of mind that that's all food that I think you just put water in it and heat it up and then you can eat it. But whatever it lasts for 25 years so at some point 25 years from now if the zombie apocalypse does not happen then we're gonna eat that crap and try it out and see how awful it is but that is it you guys i did a lot in this video maybe you didn't feel it as much as i did because i was in here doing it but so much weight is off my shoulder now like that was my biggest goal like my biggest task that i wanted to accomplish for 2021 and here we are in february and i have done it so i feel a lot better about my life so i hope that you got something from it again if you have questions i'm sure you'll have questions and stuff let me know and this is just like an introduction to the insanity of you know prepping and having extra things and again you don't have to do this this is just what we choose to do for our family it does not mean that i am right it does not mean that i'm wrong it just means that this is what we choose to do so thank you for watching thank you for being here i love you guys to pieces make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye, guys.